Hello my dear students I am BS Pandey and today we are in lecture number 27 lecture 27 this lecture is very important my dear student because we will solve numerical in today's lecture okay uh, of the second chapter same unit electrostatics uh, today we will start our lecture with the uh, mix combination and uh, with the numerical first and then we will proceed for the mix combination the two or three simple numericals we will take today we have studied the formula for series and parallel combination I will suggest you to go back my last video lecture and then you will find the formula today with the example find the four question I'm giving you C equivalent second Q total of the network third potential at each and fourth potential and fourth is charge on each capacitor this is also the each capacitor the fourth thing you have to find in all circuit in given network okay my dear I'm giving you a few networks for that networks you have to find these four quantities a very simple network today we are taking okay all the students you will be able to understand this one the first question here this is the two capacitor okay suppose it is 10 microfarad and this is also 10 microfarad it is connected by 50 volt okay it is connected by 50 volt now the question is very simple you have to find this all the first you can find the equivalent capacitance formula you know for series it is C equivalent it is equals to C1 C2 by C1 plus C2 okay so C1 C2 that is 10 microfarad into 10 by 20 that is 10 by 2 it is 5 micro farad so the C equivalent you have calculated for two capacitor identical capacitor we also know the formula directly C by 2 C by 2 for two identical and here C is the capacitance of one capacitor since all the identical so capacitor and it is 10 so the 10 by 2 directly you can write the 5 in examination if you have been asked you can write directly by simplifying this one now the second one so this is the first question a c equivalent you have calculated now the total charge we know that q total equals to c total into v total okay so the q total it is c total how much 5 microfarad into V total how much it is given 50 volt so it is 250 micro this micro and farad into volt it become coulomb okay so it is 250 micro coulomb it is the total charge and this total charge will start flowing through the network through the circuit from this okay this is the total charge now you have to find the potential at each and charge on each okay my dear student can you tell me if this charge q is moving through this capacitor how much charge will here and here answer is yes the same charge will move through each capacitor in series we know that charge remain constant flow through the network so here the charge will be so the answer of fourth that is d we can write it is q which is 250 micro coulomb through each 
capacitor. Now, the third one, we have to find the potential at each. As we know that Q is equals to CV. For this capacitor, we can apply this formula to find Q is equals to CV and C is 10. So the V will be Q since here the Q is we have calculated already 250 okay and C is how much 10 so it will be 25 volt since this has the same specification so here again if it is 25 volt this will be also 25 volt remember students after solving you should be compare your answer verify your answer if it is 25 25 the total will be 25 plus 50 and it is 50 so answer is correct in this way you can find the answer okay so now i'm giving you homework and then we are moving for another example okay i hope you have written i'm rubbing now the next question and this question will be your homework I am using here capacitor 3 microfarad and 6 microfarad okay and here 20 volt battery it is connected okay now 20 volt the same four questions it is given the first homework the second homework three capacitor are joined with the battery and three are I'm giving you here two microfarad four microfarad three microfarad and four microfarad okay my dear students and this is 10 volt you have to find again that all the four quantities two three and four okay two three and four microfarad connected with the 10 volt battery now this is your homework now we are moving for the next example i'm rubbing this one okay so the next example for the parallel combination here yeah. the question is the two capacitor you have of 10 microfarad again connected by 100 volt okay this is 10 microfarad and this is also 10 microfarad with the 100 volt charge will start flowing from this one we have to find first equivalent capacitance so a equivalent capacitance here the formula we are having c equivalent equals to c1 plus c2 for parallel so the c equivalent will be very simple 10 plus 10 it is 20 microfarad directly you can also write we know that in parallel combination for two identical capacitor the formula is c equivalent equals to n into c what was c equals to n into c the c equivalent n into c here n is how many capacitors are there two capacitor of identical value it is 10 microfarad so 2 into 10 how much it will be 20 microfarad okay so we are having the answer here the 20 microfarad the next we have to find the total charge for q total we know that c total into v total okay so the c total we have calculated with the 20 microfarad and the v total it is given 100 volt so how much it is it is 2000 micro coulomb okay 2000 micro coulomb the total charge we have calculated now here the total charge it will start moving and it will break in two parts okay am i correct yes the total charge will break in two parts but you know that the potential remains same across this one and across it so bo for both the capacitor the poten potential is how much it is 100 volt 100 volt over here and 100 volt over here also here you are having the potential here potential and capacitance also so you can find the charge as it is c q1 
equals to C1 into V1. So the C1 is 10 microfarad and V1 it is 100 volt. How much it is? 1000 microcoulomb and for 1000 again. So the total charge if you will add here 1000 and 1000 charge. So total it is 2000 and we are having the 2000. So we have calculated here the voltage was in parallel. Okay, 100 volt on each. Okay, my dear students. Now I'm giving you the homework. You can note down this one. Now the homework. Third homework I'm giving you. So this third homework. Here the 5 microfarad, 5 microfarad and 5 microfarad. Okay, here the 150 volt we have connected. You have to find all the 3, sorry 4 quantities. The 4th question. It is connected by a battery of 20 volt okay my dear student and the value of capacitor I'm giving you here 2 microfarad 3 microfarad 5 microfarad okay you have to find all the four quantities this is your homework to homework from parallel combination now my dear student Uh, we are going to uh, solve now mix combination okay from the first question you have to be concentrate to learn we are talking about the mixed combination okay so I'm starting if we connect two capacitor of C and C identical capacitor about this terminal X and Y I'm asking the answer what will be the capacitance remember you have to give the answer orally you are not supposed to use pen and paper you have to give the answer orally you have to be very smart while solving this question then your concept will build up the two capacitor of C and C what was the formula for series combination the formula was for identical capacitor since here we are using the identical capacitor so the formula was C equivalent is equals to C1 C2 by C1 plus C2 okay for series combination or C by N if identical the two capacitor C equivalent will be C by N how much 2 this is the answer okay now the next question I am giving the first question successfully you have solved the second question I am solving I am just enlarging this network remember be careful I am enlarging this network already okay suppose it is 2C and 2C then what will be the answer what will the answer and the answer is yes this 2 will be C now if I have added another capacitor of C now about this 2.12 what will be the equivalent capacitance now student you can see this 2 was connected in series and it is not going to be changed it is in series even now but another capacitor in parallel it has been connected if we will solve try to solve this is the one capacitor this is the one capacitor it is C 2C and 2C will be C and another capacitor now joint in parallel okay in parallel and how much it is C if two capacitor of capacitance C and C identical are connected in parallel then what will be the answer the answer will be C equivalent will be 2C 
Is it answer? Yes, it is clear. Yes. Now the third network I'm giving you here. Two C, two C, and this was C. Okay. Now I'm connecting here another capacitor of two C. Now this is the Y terminal. Can a student tell me what will be the equivalent capacitance? Remember. Up to here, you have solved already. Up to here, I have been solved, and it is two C. Another capacitor, it is connected, so the equivalent circuit will look like this one. It was two C, this total, this one is the two C, and another capacitor it is connected in series. So it is two C and two C. Again, the answer will be C. Try to remember. This was the C, na? So this will be the C. So the C equivalent is C. In this way, my dear student, you can do practice for number of questions or the zero level. You can say this is the zero level question. Now I am giving you the quickly the networks and you have to tell the answer. Okay. Tell me the answer between x and y. If it is two c and it is two c and it is c, what will the answer? Yes, the answer is all the three capacitor are connected in series. Remember, don't be confused that this is in series and this is parallel. Okay, you can see if the charge will enter from x, the charge, the total charge will go to this two c and then this two c and then it will come to this c. So this all the three are connected in series. If the parallel, if you are thinking about the parallel, then this is connected in parallel with this one. Then what should be the circuit here? This is two C and two C. Then this C. If this is the one circuit, then the terminals. Find out the terminals. The one terminal is this one, and the another terminal is this one. If this is parallel with this one, then it's one terminal of this capacitor. One terminal is this one. It is connected with the same, and another terminal also should be connected with the same. And if you are taking any of the common terminal as first terminal and the second terminal, then only this two will be considered in parallel. Otherwise, this is not in parallel. Okay. I hope you understand. So this is in. Series, you have to find the equivalent capacitance. I hope you can solve. Let me leave it as your classwork. Now the next. Okay, my dear students. The Q. You have to find the equivalent capacitance. All other C. What will be the answer? This C will be the C by two. Okay, these two C are in series. First, whenever you got the such type of question, try to solve the simple network. And simply, you can see these two are in series. Then, if there will be one capacitor, then this is parallel, and then this will be the one capacitor, and then it is in series with this capacitor. Okay, so it is C by two, and this is parallel. So C by two plus C. That is three by two C, and then in series. Okay, so three by two C into C divided by three by two C plus C. Okay, and that will be the answer. I hope you are getting. You can repeat the video to listen me again. Okay, I am going to expand this question. Now the next class four. This is for your practice. Remember, my dear student. Let's see the C. Now, what will be the answer? Okay, whatever you got the answer for this network, that previous network, you have to just take this C as your parallel capacitor. In with this particular network, this C will be in parallel, and then you can find the answer. That will be the correct answer. The student, 
if you will be asked to find the charge on each capacitor potential on each capacitor the total charge and the total capacitor and total capacitor you have been calculated if i'll give you the values could you find the total charge and uh, uh, and uh, charge on each capacitor and potential on each capacitor okay now i we so not uh, just kill the time we should learn something which is very important for your board examination okay so the next question i'm giving you you have to find out the potential on each one so these are the some mixed combination there will be several more combination you will learn i'll tell you just now you have to find the four things that you have calculated in the very first question the four thing you have to find first write down c equivalent of this network second you have to find the total charge third charge on each capacitor and fourth potential on each capacitor now i'm giving you the value okay this is 20 microfarad this is 20 microfarad i'm not writing the unit but i'm telling you okay 20 microfarad 20 microfarad this is 10 microfarad okay this is 10 microfarad this is 20 microfarad and this is 100 volt battery you have to find charge potential that is on each capacitor net capacitance okay all the things and the total charge of the network how you will solve so the first you should try with the net capacitance here the 20 20 are series so this 20 and 20 will be 10 now this 10 and 10 will be in parallel so this will be 10 and then 10 will be in parallel and parallel that will be added so the 10 plus 10 will be 20 now this total become 20 and this is series with the 20 so the 20 and 20 again in series will be 10 it means the total c equivalent it is 10 microfarad second total charge q total equals to c total how much it is 10 microfarad v total how much 100 volt total charge 1000 micro coulomb now you can find the voltage okay third and charge how much charge is flowing 1000 okay 1000 micro coulomb here what will be the amount of charge the total 1000 will reach to this one so you can find the voltage over here okay so the voltage suppose it is v1 so the v1 you can write v1 it is q by c1 Or the twenty, okay. How much Q thousand by twenty? Okay, so it will be fifty volt. The total potential of the network is hundred volt. You can see it is connected hundred volt, but fifty volt drawn already over here. It means if you divide this network in two parts. one is this one and the another is this total network what will happen a student if 50 volt has been drawn over here then 50 will be remain for this section and for this section if it is 50 it means this particular two terminal will get the 50 and this upper two terminal will get 50 i mean equal potential if it is getting 50 how much charge is going how much charge is going from this point if at this point the charge reach 1000 then there will be 1000 and after that the charge will divide from here the charge will divide from here and here 
how much charge is going here we don't know but we can calculate here the capacitance is 10 and potential is 100 so the charge suppose it is q1 okay suppose it is q1 so we are going to find out the charge reach at this capacitor we can write q1 equals to c into v how much potential over here it was 50 so it is 500 micro coulomb how much charge is going thousand but 500 gone gone through here it means rest charge will move through here and rest charge if it is the thousand then rest charge will be 500 since 500 gone through here so the 500 if 500 charge gone through here then you can find the potential over here also suppose this potential is v2 this is v3 okay so the v2 can be written to find the potential you know that the charge remain same for both the capacitor which is 500 so v will be 500 that is q by c by 20 okay and it is 25 volt and here again 25 volt that will be the total 50 volt in this way you can see you have calculated all the things which was asked to find okay my dear students another question i'm giving you for homework okay kindly note down Hmm. So, I am giving you the question here. Uh, one question which is in your NCRT student, if you will open the NCRT book, you will find one question. I think you should solve that question by yourself. Okay. I am giving you homework. For the network, there is only one question. It is mentioned in your NCRT. in the battery okay six three okay two and two ten volt this all are in microfarad remember due to the very less space i'm writing here the digits microfarad 10 volt you have to find all the four thing okay four things you can write it is one you have to find the total capacitance of the network second total charge of the network third charge on each capacitor and fourth potential on each capacitor my dear student okay now one more question i am giving you this is another homework I hope you can solve the number of questions I have already mentioned in my assignment as I told you time to time to solve my assignment A, B and C. Here the 2 microfarad, 2 microfarad. Okay my dear students, you have to find the potential, the first question. Mm. C equivalent between A and B. A and B. Okay. C equivalent between A and B. To if this is the first question. B. If 10 volt applied. between A and C find total energy okay that is the stored potential energy 
of the network okay my dear student this is your second homework remember student the energy stored we have studied for the capacitor actually that energy can be lost and the capacitor when discharged it loses energy and that energy lost in basically two important form you have to be remember one it is heat energy and the second one it is electromagnetic energy or the electromagnetic wave actually that loss in energy we use for our proper okay uses in proper manner to produce electromagnetic wave that you will study in circuits okay in ac circuit so this is all about today lecture my dear students thank you